Hello, this is Mike, and welcome to PHP Programming Lesson 11. And today we're going to continue with functions. Last time we covered Pythagorean Theorem, and this time we're going to cover a few important functions and how to increment and decrement in PHP. So there's some important stuff here, and you'll be using these over and over in your PHP programming. Now last time we'd actually opened up Eclipse and we'd created a math functions uh, file, and I want you to click on that, open that up, and we have it open up in our browser here. And uh, we have all this code that we created last time. I actually want to get rid of it. It's kind of in the way. So one way to do that is just to highlight it, to right-click, go to Source, and Toggle. But there's a faster way. And notice when you look at your Toggle comment here that there's indeed a shortcut. So go ahead and memorize those shortcuts. It will save you a lot of time in the future. And that's Control plus forward slash. So let's use that instead. Once again, highlight. Hit Control plus and forward slash and it comments all the code. Now if you decide you didn't want to do that, you can hit Control Z and it would take the comments away one at a time, but you don't want to do that. Just highlight it again, hit Control plus forward slash, and it removes all the comments away. Isn't that pretty cool? And that's a real easy way to comment and uncomment code, and you'll be doing that often in this series. So let's comment those, get those out of the way so we can take a look at our next set of code. And what I've done, I've actually put in here a number of important uh, math quantities that you'll be using over and over again. One is the absolute value. One is the power. Of course, you've already used the square root. You're going to need to generate random numbers. And another one is to generate random numbers between a max and min value. Now, how can I figure out how all these work without actually going to the php.net doc site? Just roll over one. And when you roll over a, a math function or a method, the code hinting will come up. And it'll tell you what it does. So what I'm going to do here is actually just hit the F2 key on my keyboard. And that puts it all in a nice little box for me. And I can scroll through and figure out what that function does. It describes actually what it does and how to use it and its uh, arguments. So very important documentation just by coming to a method, rolling over it, hit F2 to bring it into your little view box, and just read about the method. So that's really, really cool. And right here it actually shows you how to set it up. So uh, nice documentation just right in Eclipse. And of course, once again, that's one of the reasons I use Eclipse. So what, in addition to what I've done here, I've actually um, put a little bit of uh, formatting here. It's going to tell you, hey, this is an absolute value of minus 300 is what? Well, minus 300, absolute value should be 300. And so I use the concatenation right here to add that to that string, and then I run the function and add uh, basically a break so I can go to the next line. So you've seen all that stuff before. Once again, I'm using that echo method. I'm putting a string to echo out a string. I'm using the dot to concatenate uh, the method to that string and then I'm doing a return with the break. So let's go ahead and run this code and see if indeed all these methods work for us. So go ahead and save it. Okay, now go ahead and run it. Okay, so what we see that the absolute value of 300, minus 300 is 300, 2 to the power of 4 is 16, the square root of 25 is 5, and now you just have a random variable being spit out, and that's pretty big, 23,300. 23, but you don't want to always do that. Sometimes you want to calculate a random variable between two max and min values, and here's a max and min value of 1 and 10, and a random variable in this case would be 5. It could be anything, but in this case it would chose 5. So once again, go ahead and familiarize yourself with these methods. You'll find this uh, random uh, method very useful, where you put in your min value and your max value, and it just spits out a value in between those two. Very useful method. Now I want to go on and uh, look at something even more useful and that's incrementing and decrementing. So how do I get rid of these comments? I'm just going to highlight those, hold on the control plus forward slash key, and it removes all the comments so I can start working with this code. And I've got an error here. It doesn't like something in this syntax. So let's see if I picked up uh, something. Oh, I see. Look right here. With, I actually uncommented a comment. I don't want to do that, so let's put a double comment right there. Comment. Good, now we're good. It's not going to be unhappy. Sometimes when you get errors, you want to make sure not only do you look at that line of code, but the line of code before it, because many times your errors can be before that code. Notice I got that X right there. It told me there was an error, but then once I fixed it, Eclipse got rid of it. If I save that, that should go away, and it does. So in this particular lesson, so in this particular section, I'm going to give you a shorthand notation for incrementing a value. So imagine that you have a value x, which is equal to 5, and a value y, which is equal to 3, and you want to add them together and put them back into x. So we're going to say x equals x plus y. So in this case, x was 5, but then we're going to add 3 to it, and so x should then become 8. 
And so that's really nice, but there's a shorthand method for doing that, and that's basically just using plus equals. And so what does plus equals mean? It means just take x and add to it the value of y, and then put it back into x. So let's go ahead and run this. We're going to comment this out and see if that indeed is what we get. And I don't want to run this method up here anymore, so I'm going to go ahead and comment these out. And how am I going to do this? Let's highlight those. Hold my control key plus forward slash, and those are commented out. So it allows me to work with code and actually teach you guys a little bit more efficiently without spending hours commenting and uncommenting. So what I should do is let's just check out this shorthand technique. Let's run it. And I'm just going to have to run that again. There you go. So it says that x plus equals y is 8. So what it does, it takes the value of x, which is 3, the value of y, which is 5, adds them together and gets 8, and then sticks that value back into x. And you're going to find this extremely useful when working with uh, incrementing and decrementing. All right, so we're going to go ahead and move on from here. So I'm just going to copy all this code. So come and highlight it, hit the alt control arrow down. All right. So you can imagine if I can do this for plus, I can do it for minus. So let's use a minus sign here. I'm going to minus. So what that's going to do, it's going to take the value of x, which is 5, and the value of y, which is 3. Subtract uh, 3 from 5, which gives you 2, and then put that back in for x and print that out. And so this is actually subtraction. And let's run that and see that's what we get. And indeed, if you take x, which is, which is 5, and you subtract y, which is 3, and you put that back in for x, you get 2. So it's working fine. So plus equals, minus equals, going to see these over and over again. So if there's a plus equals and a minus equals, there should be a division equals and a multiplication equals, and indeed there is. Let's go ahead and create those. So let's highlight all this code so we don't have to retype everything. Hit your Alt, Control, Arrow down to copy it. I'll just put a little space here. And in this case, I'm going to do division. We'll call this division. And let's do another one. Let's do multiplication. So once again, highlight that code. Hit your Alt, Control, and just arrow down to copy it all. And let's make this multiplication. So in this case, I should take the value of 5, multiply it by 3, which should be 15, and then put it back in for x, which should be 15. So let's go run the code and see if that's indeed what happens. We'll save it and run it. And so we see that uh, if you take x, which is 5, and you divide it by 3, you get 1.666, and put that in for x. That worked. So here, if you take x, which is 3, and y, which is 5, and you multiply, you get 15, and put that in for x, you get 15. So all these shorthand methods are working. There's just two more methods I want you to see. So the next two methods you're going to see over and over again in PHP. So let's just go ahead and comment out what we've done so far. So control plus forward slash, there you go, just comments everything out. And these two methods basically just increment and decrement by one. So if I create a variable, and I'll just call this variable one, and let that equal to seven, then to increment it by one, all I have to do is go plus plus. Variable one, plus plus, and what that should give me is 8. So let's echo that out. And we'll put a little formatting here so we can actually get a return. And let's run it. So I had the variable 7. I used plus plus to increment it by 1. And now I have 8. Let's go ahead and decrement. So I'll hit Alt, Control, and Page Down so I have to recopy this code. Let's go ahead and save this. Notice I got an error, so uh, Eclipse is telling me there's something wrong here. And what I did, I forgot to use my semicolon. So you can get away with simple programs without the semicolon every once in a while, but you have to basically end your lines with semicolons. So I, so I did that. So I hit the Save button, and that error should go away, and it did. And we'll call this variable 2. And we actually want to decrement variable 2, so we're going to subtract 2, so use a minus minus. So if you use this for a loop, for example, and every time you iterate it, it would subtract 1. And when you got to a certain value, it would tell you, hey, don't iterate anymore. And so let's print out variable 2. We're going to actually use 2 here. And so if we our original value is 7, and we decrement it, we should get 6. So let's go ahead and save this program, and let's run it. And so the first value had 7, and you incremented it by 1, you got 8. And the other one, you had 7, you decimated by 1, and you got 6. You know, really simple methods in PHP, but you're going to be using these over and over and over again. So that's why I put them in this lesson. So let's review what we did so far. First thing we did is we showed you a new, few new math methods. And that was absolute value, power, square root, round, and random numbers between max and min values. Then we showed you a neat technique for incrementing and decrementing, shorthand technique that's used over and over again. And that was a plus equals technique for addition. For subtraction was the minus equals technique. For division was a slash equals technique. And for multiplication 
was the star equals technique. So nice shorthand method for basically uh, uh, incrementing those functions by values. And then we showed you just incrementing by one. And so increment by one, you just use the plus plus. And the decrement of variable by one, you just use the minus minus. So thanks for listening. This is Mike Lively. I'll see you next time.